drafted Mike Tyson will be going against Lorenzo Boyd, the man from Oklahoma. Lorenzo Boyd, we should point out, will be giving away 21 pounds to Mike Tyson. He weighed in at 198, Tyson at 219. Lorenzo Boyd can do one thing, and that's punch. I don't think the weight means anything here, and I think the first round will be the telling factor in this fight because I don't know how much longer it's going to go. There should be a barroom brawl. It's the pressure tactics of Mike Tyson. He puts on perhaps the greatest pressure I have seen in any fighter since Joe Frazier. Everybody talking about Mike Tyson. 16 months as a pro, this man has fought very frequently, as we've told. Yes, they've been quick fights, but take a look at the way he compares with other heavyweights in the past as far as frequency of fights. George Foreman had 23 fights, the same as Mike Tyson. George Foreman had about another 23 before he retired. Right down to Sonny Liston, he had eight fights at the same time in his career. I think the one thing about Mike Tyson that's impressive is the tremendous determination. Uh, he doesn't leave his fight in the gym, as we've talked about. He likes to stay active. He likes the competitive atmosphere. That's Mike. Big Mike Tyson in the ring, set for that next step toward that goal. And standing in his path tonight is Lorenzo Boyd. It's taken only 16 months for Mike Tyson to become the most talked about fighter in boxing today. He's done it by banging his way to a 23-0 record with 21 knockouts, 14 of those KOs coming in the first round. Many of his opponents haven't offered Mike Tyson much resistance. He's marched right in, throwing punches from all angles, powerful, hurting punches, and few have been able to remain standing. Whether it's a devastating body attack or lethal hooks to the head, Mike Tyson's attack has been unstoppable. Because he's had so many short fights, he's been fighting frequently, averaging more than a fight per month. And he's been using each fight as a learning experience. He learned what it took to go the distance when he beat Quick Tillis. So when he climbed into the ring at Madison Square Garden in May to meet Mitch Green, who was ranked in the top 10, Tyson was ready. As opposed to the Tillis fight when he was cautious in the late rounds, he dominated Mitch Green from start to finish. Tyson didn't come close to knocking out Green, but he showed he could handle a much taller opponent who had a big reach advantage. Then after the win over Green, it was back to his knockout style. He stopped Reggie Gross in the first round at Madison Square Garden. Then two weeks ago in Troy, New York, he took on William Hosea who claimed he'd never been knocked down. It didn't take Mike Tyson long to change that. He knocked Hosea out in the first round. Mike Tyson is moving closer to a shot at the heavyweight title, and I talked with him about his march toward that goal. I wasn't feeling um, determination and desire. I don't think I'd still be on top because, as you know, like, when you lose that lack of interest, fighters start to give you a hard time to give you problems. These guys are not giving me problems anymore. The two fights that went the distance, the Tillis fight and the Green fight, what do they mean as far as your growth as a fighter? Well, it was just um, secure. Like fighting um, the first 10 rounds, I wasn't sure about going to 10 rounds because I never went 10 rounds before in a fight. And after that, I got that out of my mind psychologically. And then with the last 10 rounds of Mitch Green, it was no problem. Now you've gone back, the last two fights have been first round knockouts. This fight uh, tonight with Lorenzo Boyd, uh, people expect will be a quick one also. Do these fights help you, the short ones, the ones that end so quickly? Well, every fight helps me when you're coming into the ring. When I get in the ring and I'm in there and I'm performing under all the pressure and everything, I feel it's a plus, yes. Okay, ahead of you are some fights that uh, are moving you closer toward that goal of the heavyweight championship. What do you see happening in the next several months? Well, I, I can't tell you exactly what's happening or anything, but I could feel it good that something big is going to be happening within a few months. 26-year-old Lorenzo Boyd from Cushing, Oklahoma, comes in against Mike Tyson. No one gives him much of a chance in this fight, but Lorenzo Boyd thinks he could surprise Mike Tyson. Well, I just intend on taking the fight to the guy. I don't think anyone's uh, done that. And uh, I just plan on going in there. And actually, you hear all trainers and other fighters, they'll say, don't fight in another guy's game. Well, I plan to get right in his game with him.
my stable mate of Quick Tillis, uh, he kind of broke that ice on his mystique. You know, everyone in the country was uh, very intimidated by him. And uh, Tillis let everyone know uh, this guy's vulnerable, makes, makes lots of mistakes. Uh, Tillis opened that up, and uh, I prepared Tillis for this fight, and he also helped me in return. And I'm ready for the guy, and I've also examined the, the things Mr. Tyson does, his flaws, and uh, I know what I'm going to do for him when he makes those mistakes. We haven't seen Mike Tyson hurt in a fight yet. Can no. you hurt Mike Tyson? Is there a way? Is there anything that you you and your people feel uh, he's susceptible to? Yeah, I can, I can hurt him, and I'm going to hurt him Friday. Yeah. With what? <laughs> I, <laughs> I just just come to the fight and see. I'm go I have a few things I want to show to Mr. Tyson. And I choose not to say, but uh, it'll be pretty evident when the fight starts. There is something to hurt him, and I know what it is. We'll see. Lorenzo Boyd is in the ring. So is Mike Tyson. Let's get the official introduction Ladies from Paul Ladies and gentlemen, LaFleur. this is the main event. Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing, in the red corner, from Cushing, Oklahoma, he is wearing black trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 198 and one quarter pounds. He has a professional record of 16 wins, five losses, with nine knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lorenzo Boyd. And in the blue corner, from Catskill, New York, He is wearing black trunks. He weighed in at 219 and three quarter pounds. He has a professional record of 23 wins, no losses, 21 knockouts. He is ranked number two in the world by the WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike Tyson. Rousing cheer for Mike Tyson, 23 and 0 with 21 knockouts. Lorenzo Boyd giving away an awful lot of weight to Mike Tyson, 21 pounds. Quick right hand by Tyson. Mike Tyson's fastest knockout, 37 seconds of the first round. Robert Coley last October 25th. I got something in. <laughs> Tyson bouncing around, showing a lot more movement than usual. In watching tapes of Mike Tyson, so many times he falls off balance. His feet get mixed up. He starts boxing out of a southpaw position, but he hits so hard that it doesn't matter what position he's hitting you from or what angle. He's just a devastating puncher. To the body with a right hand. That hurt Lorenzo Boyd. Boyd making the mistake of backing up. He's got to come in and throw punches. Boyd, one-time police officer in Stillwater, Oklahoma. See, if Boyd was a boxer, I'd say, okay, box. But he's not a boxer. He's a slugger. He's not a quick tillis. He's not a tall man like a Mitch Green. He's got to slug. And if he waits for an opening, I don't know if he's going to find it. Mike Tyson has two of the quickest hands in the heavyweight division. Boyd crowding Tyson to looking for an opening. I know Boyd wants to come in with the uppercut, but hasn't shown it. Tyson shows it there. This is Mike Tyson's first fight as a non-teenager. Just past 20 years old. Belated happy birthday to Mike Tyson. Tyson in at 219. Boy, he carries the weight well. He carries it so well. He says he feels heavier, actually better at this weight than he does when he gets in around 214, 215. Solid body shots from Tyson. A minute to go in round one. Fourteen men have fallen down in the first round. Again to the body. Boyd trying to answer back. All those shots picked off. Yeah, 
Half a minute to go, round one. In Mike Tyson's last victory against Hosea, he injured his left hand, and they said he was nursing it in training this week. So let's watch to see if this fight should go a number of rounds if he does hold back on that power left hand. Boy, doing some holding here. Rosen and Randy Gordon ringside at the Stevensville Country Club in Swan Lake, New York. And Lorenzo Boyd has done what 14 others have failed to do against Mike Tyson. Let's go into the second round. It was Customato's dream. Customato, the late great trainer, the man who was the legal guardian of Mike Tyson. It was his dream to see Mike Tyson become the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Floyd Patterson, who was guided by Customato, he did it at 21 years old. And within the next year, the plan is to get Mike Tyson up to the heavyweight championship of the world. Trained by Kevin Rooney, co-managed by Jim Jacobs and Bill Clayton. Good right uppercut by Tyson. Solid on the chin. Bill Clayton, excuse me. Dropped an L in there where it didn't belong. Body shots, very effective for Tyson thus far. Lorenzo Boyd started his boxing in the Army, actually sparred at Fort Bragg, North Carolina with James Broad. The first boxing experience he had. And when he was on the police force in Stillwater, Oklahoma, the guys in the department kind of urged him on to become a fighter, and then uh, he's gone full time. He's also taking criminal law courses at Oklahoma State. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again, a double right hand to the body and the chin. Down goes Lorenzo Boyd. The Shoot. count is five. The count is six. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. Sam, show me what heavyweight throws punches that quick. Those were two right hands, one to the body, and you snap your fingers. It was turned into, I believe it was a right uppercut. That's how fast it was. Chalk up another knockout for Mike Tyson. What was expected. But again, in watching Tyson, I think you have to watch him with an eye of this man's talents and skills and how he's honing those skills. Talking to Jim Jacobs there. And he's getting better and better. You can see him do things each fight a little better, a little sharper than he did in the previous fight. Can he box? I believe so. Can he punch? No question about it. I think one of the hardest hitters in heavyweight history. And here it comes. There was a hard left hand. He didn't get full extension on it. Then, right hand to the body, just like that. Upstairs oh, with a right uppercut. Oh. Good night. Wow. And Lorenzo Boyd saying, what hit me? Watch the side of Lorenzo Boyd's body. You think the body shots of Tyson... I mean, the body just about collapses in there. It's the tremendous leverage that Tyson has, the way he throws his punches. He gets his entire body, 219 pounds, went into each of those two right hands to the body. Everything went in it. Tremendous. No arm punches from this man. Entire body, great leverage. He's been taught well. He's learned well. It doesn't matter what hand Tyson hits you with. He hurts you. He leaves impressions, even when he hits you on the arms. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by knockout at 1 minute 43 seconds of the second round and still unbeaten, Mike Tyson! 24-0, 22 knockouts. This fight goes 4 minutes and 43 seconds. 
And his streak of first round knockouts, which was at two, is broken. But Mike Tyson has to be pleased with his performance. Lorenzo, sorry about it. Assess his performance. How does he punch? He's stronger than I thought he was. Uh, he caught me real good in the rib cage down here on the uh, left side. And I became fearful then because I told myself I have to remind myself not to bring my hand down to protect it. He hit it again. I brought my elbow down. In case you don't know, it was a right hand and then a right uppercut right to the uppercut. chin. Is he the hardest hitter you've ever been in with? Yes, I, I fought a Terry Anderson, and they considered him a big banger. But uh, he doesn't punch anything like Mike. In your opinion, can this man, Mike Tyson, beat any heavyweight in the world right now? Yes, he'll go all the way. What about the other one? He'll, he'll, uh, <laughs> all right, tell us. Yeah, Thank you for coming over here. Better luck next time. Okay. At least you can look at it this way. Next fight, you won't have to be in against Mike Tyson. Mike, congratulations on your first victory as a non-teenager. Did you think you'd get him so soon? Well, I, I was expecting, I was looking for early knockouts. But then I, I saw he went by the first round, so I said, I'm going to just pick with my jab and look for opening because I hurt my left hand early in the first round. You've been nursing that bruised hand. They said your left hand was bruised in your last fight. Is it okay now? It's okay, but it just has a little pain in it. But it's nothing that I can't detract when I'm in the boxing. He said he was going to come out banging with you. He really didn't come out banging from the first round. He was kind of cautious. Were you surprised by that? Not at all. At first, I thought because he charged out a little with a, with a kind of a, a sluggish stand, like he's just ready to wing. But I was precarious about it, and I just kept putting the jab in his face, looking forward for him to move forward. Okay, we've seen you plenty of times as a fighter. Now we're going to hear your expert commentary as we take a look at the devastating punches which ended the night for Lorenzo Boyd. Well, as you see here, I'm just picking with the jab, and I'm looking for the body punches. Boom, I'm trying to hurt him with the body. Boom, and I brought it up. But as you noticed earlier, I was hitting him to the body, making his, man, his mind preoccupied on the body shot, and he had no intention of the right uppercut coming. He said that. He said he was trying to keep the body trying not to bring the hand down, but he said he just couldn't help it, that when you drove the body shot, you hit him again. Most definitely, because that's my plan. Is a title shot looming in 1986? Can you tell us that? I couldn't tell you because, you, as you know, Jim Jacobs and Bill Caton keeps a close eye on that and negotiation plans. But I, I feel a big, big success plan happening very soon. It's so tough to be critical on yourself when you look so good in such a short time. But were you unhappy in any way with your performance tonight? Well, I always felt I could have used my jab a lot more. And there's a lot of other things that I saw just now, just watching those few seconds that I made a mistake on, but I won't tell you or the viewers at home either. We'll work on them at the gym. You don't want Tim Witherspoon, Pinklin Thomas, and Trevor Burbick and the rest of the guys knowing? Well, they think they know, but they really don't know. If there is a way to beat Mike Tyson, how do you do it? You don't want to talk about that one, do you? I don't, 357 Magnum. I'm starting to that's think. Chance. I'm starting to think that you're unstoppable. Do you feel that you're the best heavyweight in the world that you can step in with anybody right now? I know. Just a number of months ago, you said just a few more fights. Are you ready right now? I feel I am the best fighter in the world right now. Congratulations again on your win, 24-0. And by the way, your birthday was a few days ago. Happy birthday! An autographed picture of Sam Rosen will be mailed to you very 